for two years I have been thinking and hoping and wishing and praying and it has finally happened. I have procured a thread up DIY designer box. The only problem is, is that I got three boxes, two of them fun boxes, and they're all delivered at the same time. And this one arrived looking like this. It's basically ripped in half. So we're gonna start with this one and hope it's the DIY designer box. Otherwise, that'll be the next video you see where I'm wearing this exact same shirt because I'm not resting until I open that DIY designer box. Now, interestingly enough, all three boxes are the exact same size. And one of them's supposed to have like seven designer pieces and the rest supposed to have like, you know, 10 little fun pieces. So I'm interested in that. It's Mystery Box Monday. It's all a mystery. Let's get into this destroyed thread up some sort of box and we'll see what it is in just a second. I'm Amy the Rainy Day Shopper. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Depop. And like I said, I have been trying for two years for a DIY designer box. <gasps> This is it! Unfortunately, it's the one that's ripped in half, almost. Ha 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 ha. I didn't try full on. I tried for a few months when I first started. Some people even like told me that there were boxes available and of course I didn't see the messages until later. And then I this year I actually started buying some thread up boxes again because I kind of took a year off uh, from even trying and I really only bought the scarf mystery box before this. So this... Aww, is the DIY designer thread up box. <sighs> okay, so actually I have really low expectations for it. I just have really wanted one and now I can check that off my list and be done with thread up for a while uh, because I really don't need any more boxes. Okay, so this is supposed to have seven pieces in it and this is what it looks like. Um, huh. I don't know if some went missing out the hole in the front or if they're just seven really small pieces. Let's start with these shoes, which are uh, Bottega Veneta. Those are super cute little purple pumps. Let's see, let me find the other one. Uh, oh my gosh, those are really cute. They do have some wear back here, and it's also kind of the look of the leather. The soles are in pretty good condition, though they might have been replaced here because it looks like there's some new glue. These are a size 38. Those are super cute and in good condition. I am pleased with those. Okay, we've got some more shoesies in here. These are a Prada Milano. Oh, uh... <laughs> While they are Prada, they are pretty destroyed. I don't know if it would be worth, because this style is a little old. It's like an old school gladiator with a zip back. The toes are very roached on both sides. Otherwise, I mean, they're in decent condition. They've got the wooden bottom, so those are worn. That's just how they look. Um, they obviously need kind of reshaped. I don't know if it'd be worth trying to fix those. I have a really good shoe guy. I'm sure he could do something, but he'd probably have to replace the whole sole, and I, I don't know how I feel about that. That sounds expensive. Uh, so I'll probably just list them as they are. Would they're Prada? I mean, someone's got to want them and want to repair them, right? What would you do? Would you repair or would you list as is? Okay, that's two items. We've got some more shoesies. Ah, Gucci. Little kitten heel oh the cute look look at that sassy little heel that's gonna break on someone's behind uh these are a size 11b oh that's a great size and they are just the canvas gucci strap i do have a pair of uh glasses in my closet that i got that match these i got those in a mystery like junk lot oh speaking of glasses there's some more in there uh so this is in these are in pretty good shape i think yeah cute They've got the leather soles. I like those. Okay, that's three pairs of shoesies, and I think there's one more shoesies. And then, let's see. These are Christian Louboutin. Hello. Um, I've never seen a pair of these. I've heard of them. I never watched Sex in the City, by the way. I don't care about sex any in any city unless I'm having it. And 
that's too much information, but I didn't care about watching the other people. But anyway, I lived in New York at the time and I didn't have cables, so there you go. Anyway, and I never went back and watched it. These were a size 38 snakeskin print. I don't know if it's real snakeskin. Uh, obviously, somewhere on the bottom, I think you can get paint and repaint them. Otherwise, I mean, they're in good condition. That paint just wears off. The insoles are coming out right there, but I will just put some glue under there and press it down. I could take that to a repair shop, but for that repair, I don't know. They're kind of coming up all over. And for Louboutins, it might be well worth it to get that replaced. I mean, not replaced, but glued down professionally. So I will look at comps on these because they are, you know, heels. And heels aren't selling terribly well right now. But maybe Louboutins do. Okay, I put on this shirt because I bought it. Ooh, and I thought it would be cooler. It's actually quite hot. and uh, it's, it's weird weather. All right, let me see if I can find those glasses. So that was four pairs of shoesies. And a pair of, oh, Prada Milano. Uh, made in Italy. They have a number on the inside. Little spectacles. Oh my gosh. Those I can't see out of. Those are someone's prescription, but whoa, not mine. I don't know if I'm more blind. I mean, maybe I'm more blind than this person because I can't see out of them. Or these are like bifocals. Or maybe they're just reading glasses and obviously I need... A, a real prescription. In any case, glasses, Prada. Okay, cool. Not bad. Everything seems in decent condition except those one Prada shoes so far. Oh, this looks like it's a Burberry London, but it's just a little polo shirt. Um, and it looks like there might be some, there's definitely fading and some of that just maybe dirt. I have sold Burberry in all kinds of conditions. I sold this beautiful red um was it cashmere merino wool that i got from fashion without trashens box it was all darned and i just disclosed it i'm like hey it's been darned if you're really close you're gonna see it and what it's gonna show is someone love this piece enough to take care of it and i sold that one for a hundred dollars i sold a pretty damaged trench coat in green for around a hundred dollars too obviously this not so much but you know it's burberry so that's cool and i think we have one piece left this is a designer DIY, but I'm so excited. Okay, I just, I've opened it. I touched the Louboutins. I don't know your address. Are you Silk? What are you? You are Narcisco Rodriguez, made in Italy. It looks like, oh, I'm going to have to restitch the tag. The tag is coming off and probably this size tag come off, came off. Um, but it is this really cute pin tucked top. with Is that velvet trim with some velvet trim? And then a really cute little flirty, woohoo, looks kind of 40s to me. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a 40s silhouette with that kind of flirty bottom. Let me see if there are, oh, it is, what happened on the inside? So, like, how does that happen to the inside? It looks like maybe it got dropped and ran over or someone spilled something. Let me see. On the outside, you can kind of see like there's some marks. So this looks like I'll have to do some either cleaning magic or get it professionally dry clean, depending on the brand price. Like I said, I feel like it's silk, so I'm sure it's dry clean only. Um, but I do have my home dry cleaning kilt and I have used it on silk before. So yeah, that's weird. I love those pleats though. Okay, I don't see any care tags or anything. So I'll have to do some research on this one and let you know. Okay, so. I have finally gotten the designer DIY box. I am very pleased. I don't know this brand. I don't know a couple of the shoes, but I'm sure they're fine. I got Louboutins. I've never, I don't, I mean, I would not know what they were, except the media talks about them. Ooh, the red bottoms and the Louboutin. Ooh, the red, whatever. Um, okay, my quest is finished. I feel very accomplished. I'm still a little perplexed by the giant rip in the box. How does that happen? In any case, let me know what you thought of this box. If you have a DIY box that is a recent one that I haven't seen before, drop me a link down in the comments so that I can go watch your video. I really appreciate you being here to watch this video. I mean, I love that we support each other as resellers and small YouTubers. <sighs> and we are almost to a thousand. I mean, if we are not to a thousand by the time this video is posted, I don't, I'm like, mmm. Anyway, some people just don't like other people and that's okay they don't have to like me but if you like me make sure you subscribe and hit the like button because otherwise i'm just going to continue pouting for the rest of my life
probably not. I'll just move on. But I prefer to stay here and talk to you because you're awesome and I really appreciate you being here. Those of you who I can count on to watch every video and leave me a comment and give me that thumbs up. I just love you. Mostly I just like to get to know you and those of you who chat down in the comments, it's so much fun to chat with you every week. So join me again for the next mystery box Monday. Like I said, I do have more fun boxes that we will be unboxing. I have some thread up shoe and purse boxes that you still haven't seen from a couple of months ago. I unboxed them, but you haven't seen them. And there will be some other mysterious things coming along as we continue in this reselling journey together. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Later alligators.